Hey guys, it's Brendan Barnes here, and I'm here with my main man, Tag Thompson. I drove all the way back up here to Chattanooga to chat with him. Um, he recently came down to Atlanta to the Aria Live event in February, February 19th. It was a great event. Uh, he shared how he grew from one market to nine. He also demoed live his new tool for creating, uh, coming up with the offer price to send more offer. It's called Go Offer. You see it on the screen. And we want to show you a demo here today, live. Um, and so that you can watch this back and learn how to send your own offers, send more offers uh, by using and leveraging this tool. And um, I'd love to hear more about it. Yeah, yeah. First of all, thank you for uh, for doing this, and thank you for those of you that were at REI Live Atlanta last month. Thanks for coming. I had such a good time. It's an incredible room to be in. Um, and if if you're watching this and you're not a member and you're in Atlanta, I got nothing for you. Like <laughs> that's the first thing you need to do in your wholesaling career is join REI Live Atlanta. Hundred um, percent. It's a, it's a great room of people. I mean, multiple seven-figure wholesalers there, multiple seven-figure investors. So it's a great room to be in. Um, so yeah, so I came down to talk about GoOffer. Um, so GoOffer started because there's a principle in wholesaling that the more offers you give, the more deals you get. So the only way to get more deals is to give more offers. Um, and there's... And by giving an offer, I mean just simply telling a seller what you'd be willing to give you, them for their house. Mm -hmm. So one of the problems with that is time, right? We only have 24 hours in a day. Uh, most wholesalers are part-time, so they're just, they've got a few hours throughout the week that they can actually talk to sellers. Um, so I hate the fact that they had to spend so much time, you know, perusing Zillow and trying to work with formulas that are pretty antiquated. You know, the most kind of common formula is for a maximum allowable offer is, you know, 65 to 75% of ARV, um, which ARV is a guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a, it's not a number that's written down anywhere. We're just guessing. Right. Um, and then you multiply, you subtract uh, repairs from that number which that's also a guess. I'm not a contractor. I don't know how any much this stuff costs. I just, I don't know any of it. So I'm not a contractor. I don't know how much repairs cost. Um, and then, you know, so I'm using a calculation that has two guesses involved in it. So I'm not gonna be able to get a good number, especially if you're pretty new at this. Brandon and I have been doing this a while, so we've gotten pretty good at, at doing that kind of pretty quickly. But most newer wholesalers, man, it just takes a long time. And I can remember sitting at my desk for hours, like terrified to give an offer because I just right. wasn't sure that it was right. right. So, so that's why we developed Go Offer. Um, it's, it's, a, it's great because, like I said, I mean, I, we leverage these offers as another marketing piece mm -hmm. just to continue the conversation. Yeah. Um, so by speeding that process up for yourself, for your business, and even new hires, um, super important to be able to do that and, and be able to yeah. get more offers out there. Yeah, so it just it speeds it speeds it up, speeds awesome. the process up. So you wanna demo it? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, so um, I love this picture on the front by the way. Um, because I guarantee you wherever this neighborhood is, if you if you were to knock on every single one of these doors, you would find somebody who needed to sell their house at a discount. 100%. Um, and that's why Go Offer is so good because you could literally walk around this neighborhood and just knock on doors mm -hmm. and, and give them the offer amount. And somebody's going to say yes because one of those people can't sleep tonight mm -hmm. because they've got to sell their house. Um, so the search tool is very simple. Um, so we're just going to go in here and let's just use a house that I know. Um, and you'll notice as soon as you start typing, it'll start searching Google uh, Maps for that property. So as soon as you get it, you're going to find it and you're just going to click search. It's going to pull that property up for you so you can make sure you're talking about the right house. Um, and the only other thing you have to do is define the condition. So, um, this is actually very easy to do. We've kind of dumbed it down to um, a few parameters. A great house 
Brandon, am I right? You're almost never going to run into this. Hardly ever. Because like, we, don't, we don't look for houses that are in great condition. We've got to be able to add value. So if a house is in great condition, they're probably not going to be wanting to sell at a discount. And um, you're just not going to run into a lot of those. A great house is typically a house that's been renovated in the last five years. All the, the systems are new, so it's got a new HVA system. Everything's, everything's been updated, and it's good to go. That's a great house. Um, a good house is a house that uh, maybe it just needs some paint um, and maybe a, a mild kitchen reno or something small, something simple like that. Um, so that's a, that's a good house. An okay house is a house that is the majority of what we see. So these are a lot of tenanted properties. So a landlord has this house and maybe it just needs a little bit of paint and uh, maybe a mild renovation, but some of the systems are, you know, they're questionable or they're older. So it's the HVAC works, but you know, it's really old or the, the roof, you know, it doesn't necessarily leak, but the roof's 20 years old. So mm -hmm. Um, it, it definitely, if it doesn't need work today, it's going to need some work soon. So that's an okay house. Um, a house is in poor condition. The easiest way to qualify this one is to say, can this house be lived in today? Mm. If the answer is no, then it's a poor, it's a poor house. It's in poor condition. So, uh, these are houses that, you know, uh, the HVAC doesn't work. Maybe the power's been off for a little while. Maybe there's active roof leaks. Uh, so it's a house that's really not livable. Um, and then lot value, which is exactly that. The value of the property is in the lot itself, is in the land. So um, so you just make your determination by talking to the seller and asking them, how's the, how's the HVAC? How's the roof? So you ask them those questions to define what condition it's in. And then, and then in your business, uh, about how many of your deals, like kind of yeah. what does that spread lie with how many deals are in yeah. the certain buckets? That's a great question. So for us... 50% of the deals we do are in okay condition. Okay. So the majority of them are okay. Uh, and then if you kind of go out, up and down a, a section, so good and poor, about 20% fall into one of those categories. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you kind of go out um, to the very ends of it, less than 5% are gonna be great or lot value. Okay. So the majority, of, so if you find yourself pushing that lot value button or that great button, Make sure you're you really are in that segment because those are pretty rare. Perfect. So, so let's say this one's in okay condition. Um, you're just going to click OK, and you'll see immediately it spit out an offer of 178 to 245. Um, so you're just going to tell the seller, Mr. Seller, it looks like houses in that neighborhood are selling between 178,000 and 125,000. You know, if we're considering the condition of of your house, so. Um, so, so based on the condition, that's, that's kind of what we want to offer. Does that make sense to you? Does that, does that sound about right? Um, so you give the seller the opportunity to kind of give you a little bit of feedback on that offer range. So, um, it's a way to not necessarily lowball them, but also not get yourself too high either. That's perfect. As yeah. I, we like to anchor. Mm -hmm. um, but you never want to anchor too, too low. Yeah. That is going to really upset them. Um, and I know you have some comps here that you yeah. can kind of speak to as to why you made the offers that way, right? Yeah. So if, if the seller tells you, oh, you're crazy, nothing in this neighborhood would sell that cheap, we can say, yeah, you know, there are definitely some high comps. You know, there's some stuff selling for around $400,000, but you know, Mr. Smith, do you know where Magnolia Street is? Uh, yeah, you know, it's right around the corner. And uh, you say, well, you know, there's a house over there, probably in a little better condition than yours. It just sold for 245000 mm -hmm. So you can let him know, hey, this 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 comp is going to back up the number I just gave you. Got it. So, um, so that's a really helpful tool to be able to do that. Right. And it gives you a really quick idea of what things are actually selling for in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So you can you can know that your wholesale price is going to be good. It's going to be attractive to an investor, um, and, and you can just see all of that right in front of you. Perfect. Now, and we're in Chattanooga, and I know you have it set to conservative mm -hmm. right now, but yeah. for the folks that are in Atlanta or other similar markets like Charlotte or Dallas, yeah. I mean, what would it be set to? So this is something for you to decide 
according to your buyers. So in a place like Chattanooga, our buyers are very conservative. So they don't want to spend a lot of money. They want you know bigger margins on their properties. So um, so in Chattanooga, we're conservative for sure. Okay. Um, in a market like Atlanta, and we're in Atlanta too. We 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 work in Atlanta as well. Um, we we that's why we put this little toggle switch in. So Atlanta is a more aggressive market. Your buyers there, there aren't a lot, a ton of deals, so they're more likely to spend more on a property um, than they would in a city like Chattanooga. Okay. So you can literally just click that button, and it will adjust the offer range according to uh, I see it there. Um, to the aggressiveness of your buyers. So a place like Chattanooga, Charlotte, um, these are areas that are more aggressive. If you're in an area like San Francisco, San Antonio. Uh, Houston, where the buyers are very aggressive. Uh, Phoenix, areas like that where the buyers are crazy aggressive. Uh, you can switch it over again, and it'll adjust it to a very aggressive market. Got it. Got it. Perfect. So, Man, this is great. Uh, yeah. I love it. And um, I can already say um, my acquisition manager, um, he does a lot of this kind of on the fly, but he's leveraging this tool. It's a gut check. He's leveraging this tool when we're going into a new market and he doesn't know that area as well. And the the properties that we've sent through this, the numbers have been spot on mm -hmm. versus what we've done historically in the past. So yeah. it's really great, you guys. I see it's pulling from Zillow, um, Soul Comps, not the Zestimate, right? Yeah, not the Zestimate. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not the Zestimate. So it's perfect. Um, yeah, and the reason it, it puts these out from Zillow is so you don't have to buy more software to check these out. So mm. these are all clickable links that will open that property in Zillow so you can see, oh, here's that house. Amazing. So it just makes it really easy for you to click on it without having to go to a you know a different software to, to do. I love it. Yeah. Well I appreciate it, Ty. Yeah. If you go to um I N U offers, so Indigo Nancy Umbrella offers with an S dot com. Um, that'll get you right in there, and if you DM me, you'll get a special coupon code for um, some, some money off of this thing. Yeah. So um, I promise you, best money you'll ever have spent. Send more offers. Do more deals. Absolutely. For sure. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it.